Welcome to the YouTube channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. Uh, in this video, I'm, I'm changing things up a little bit. As you can see, I'm taking it outside. It's a beautiful day here in San Diego, California, as usual. And as you can see, I'm also sporting the Washington Nationals Curly W because we're one win away from booking our first trip to the World Series. And uh, pretty exciting. So go Nats. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to talk about how, as uh, an, myself as an Ashkenazi Jew, how close I am genetically to Moroccan Jews. And the reason I'm making this video is because, uh, well, number one, I think it's important as uh, to provide genetic evidence for the Rhineland theory of Ashkenazi Jewish migration from Israel to Italy, up the boot of Italy, to the Rhineland, to um, uh, area, other areas of Central Europe, such as uh, um, Bohemia, Austria, Bavaria, and then to um, Silesia, then to Central Poland, and then out to um, other parts of Eastern Europe. But I really want to just prove through genetics, through DNA, that Western diaspora Jews are all genetically similar because we all come from the same source population from the land of Israel and the Mediterranean diaspora of antiquity. And we're talking about Ashkenazi Jews, Sephardic Jews, North African Jews, who include Moroccan, Libyan, Algerian, Tunisian, um, Italian Jews, and uh, Romaniot, Greek Jews. We're all very genetically similar. Um, so I, I want to go over a few, um, some admixture calculators from GEDmatch, GED Match, and also one from Your DNA Portal. And I want to show you my genetic distance as an Ashkenazi Jew to Moroccan Jews. And so uh, I'm not going, in this video, I'm not going to go over um, genetic studies. I'll, I'll leave that for another video. I've also made a previous video uh, about how Western diaspora Jews are all genetically similar that uh, links to some of these studies. But this is also ver not only my personal DNA testing, but it's also verified in genetic studies how close we are um, as far as uh, uh, in terms of um, genetic distance between Sephardic, Ashkenazi, North African, Italian, and um, or as they're called, Italkim, Italian Jews, and Romanio, Greek Jews. Um, we're also very close to Southern Europeans, um, especially Sicilians, Maltese, Southern Italians, Greeks, especially Greek Islanders such as Cretans, and then also Cypriots, and then also Levantine Middle Eastern people, um, Lebanese, Druze, Samaritans, um, Israeli Arabs, and also uh, Turkish people as well. Um, Syrians, Syrians too. Um, yeah, so. I'm just going to go over my results really quick, and I'm just going to really focus again on my my, gen, my genetic distance to um, Moroccan Jews. So this is from the uh, these are my results from the M MDLP World Oracle, and as you can see, Mor Jew Morocco is right there, uh, number 16 in the in single population sharing, and uh, genetic di genetic distance of 14. Point 25 and it's sandwiched there between um, Alger Jew Algeria and Jew Tunisia and right above those those three are uh, Sephardim and then as you can see I'm um, uh, number eight and nine um, Jew France Jew Italia and then there's Ashkenazim at three and four and then my first result was Jew Romania which I thought was kind of interesting um, and let's take a look at MDLP world 22 Oracle results and let's just take a look at Jew Morocco. Uh, Jew Romania is again my, my top population. Ashkenazim number three, um, and then also number ten, which is kind of interesting. 
Um, and then Jew, number 12, Jew Fra Fra uh, French Jew, Jew Fra French just trail. Number 13, Jew Italia. And then number 14, Jew Morocco. And number 15, Sephardine. And then 17, Jew Algeria. 18, Jew Tunisia. Let's take a look at Dodecad K12B Oracle results. So top popu two, pop two populations, Ashkenazi, Dodecad, Ashkenazi Jews, Behar. And then we get to number six, Sephardic Jews, and there's number nine, Morocco Jews, at a distance of 12.81. And let's take a look at Dodecad K7B Oracle results. And let's take a look here. So yeah, actually my top two populations in terms of genetic distance are South Italian Sicilian and Sicilian, even ahead of Ashkenazi. Jews, which I've had a few times in the uh, admixture calculator. So obviously Ashkenazi Jews are very, very close to Sicilians. And uh, yeah, there's number seven Sephardic Jews, and then number eight right behind Morocco Jews at a distance of 12.61. And let's take a look at Dodecad V3 Oracle results. And these are, uh, this, is the these, this is the closest I get to uh, Moroccan Jews at any admixture calculator from Dodecad V3. We have Ashkenazi Jews at number one and two, and then right there at number three, at a distance of 10.53, are Morocco Jews. And then actually farther down, um, all the way to number 11 is Sephardic Jews, it's a distance of 16.16. .16. And then it also gives me on my top 20, Uzbekistan Jews at a distance of 20.95, which I thought was, uh, was kind of interesting as well. I, n I usually never get uh, Uzbekistan Jews uh, on the admixture calculators, although I, they're probably not a reference population on a lot of these admixture calculators, but uh, I do get them in my top 20 on this one, so it's kind of interesting. And then uh, World 9 Oracle results. So, um, yeah, so th this is Dodecad as well, World 9. And number one, Ashkenazi Jews. Um, and then Sephardic Jews, number eight. And then number 10, Morocco Jews at a distance of 11.94. So right there in the middle of my top 20 populations is Morocco Jews. And let's take a look at Harappa World Oracle results. Now these uh, population, this ancestry calculator is more geared towards people with South Asian uh, ancestry. Um, but I still find it pretty useful. They do have some uh, more Middle Eastern and European uh, reference populations that you can compare to. So uh, let's take a look. So obviously my top two populations are um, Ashkenazi Harappa, Ashkenazi Behar. And then right there, number three, um, Sephardic Jew at a distance of 10.37. And then we have Morocco Jew at a distance of 10.94. So top four, Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi, Sephardic, Jew and Morocco Jew. And let's take a look at MDLP K23B. And there, there's another admixture calculator where Sicilian trumps uh, Ashkenazi Jew. So we got Sicilian West at number one, then Ashkenazi Jew, then Maltese, and a bunch of Sicilian, other Sicilian. Um, results and then right after Sicilian we have um, Sephardic Jew and then Turk Jew and then Moroccan Jew and then French Jew and then Italian Jew so a lot of Jew, Jew results there but uh, as you can see right there in the thick of it is uh, Moroccan Jew and let's take a look at Punt D N A L K 12 modern oracle results the my um, admix results is in terms of the uh, single population sharing the top, they list the top 20 populations and the genetic distance. Um, so there you go. There's their Sicilian West, Sicilian East right there at the top, followed by Ashkenazi Jew, then Greek. And then look, we know at number seven, we got uh, Moroccan Jew at number seven at a distance of 11.98. Right behind that, Turkish Jew. Now, uh, in another um, video, I want to talk about how uh, Moroccan Jews are a very ancient Jewish community, but also um, they, uh, they took in a lot of uh, Sephardic Jews from Spain and Portugal who were expelled. Um, 
and that really changed the sort of genetics i think a lot of the moroccan jewish population so same thing with the turkish jews a lot a lot of sephardic jews went to the ottoman empire and heavily influenced the jews in turkey the existing jewish community there and that happened in all over in almost every every community that around the world that uh, absorbed the Sephardic diaspora uh, became very Sephardic. Um, it not only changed your genetics, but it also, um, you know, they, they became Sephardic uh, in terms of adopting the Sephardic religious rites and identifying themselves as Sephardic Jews. So, but again, genetically, we're all very similar because we come from that same source population in the land of Israel and the Mediterranean diaspora of antiquity. So we have, you know, a similar, somewhat similar amounts of Levantine, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean Europe, Southern European admixture, Greco-Roman type admixture, mixed with sort of Middle Eastern. And then obviously, you know, like the Moroccan Jews would have a little bit more like indigenous, like Berber, Amazi admixture from North Africa, whereas the Ashkenazi Jews, given our exile in, you know, France and Germany, and then Central Europe, other parts of Central Europe, Poland, and then Eastern Europe, Russia, etc. Well, we picked up some DNA along the way, so we would be uh, that would just change our, you know, overall admixture a little bit, and it would give us a little bit of separation, but not much. Obviously, as you can see, how close myself is, for example, as an Ashkenazi Jew, how close I am genetically to Sephardic Jews, Moroccan Jews, Turkish Jews, Libyan Jews, Tunisian Jews, um, etc. Basically, Western Diaspora Jews, Italian, Romaniot. So we're all very similar. And so let's take a look at a couple more admixture calculators and then I'm gonna end the video. And so this is uh, the results from Ancient Eurasia K6. This is the Ancient Eurasia K6 Oracle and the single population sharing, the top 20 populations in terms of genetic distance to me. Uh, get, I get Greek as number one, which is kind of interesting. Um, so again, that's some of that Greco, probably Greco-Roman admixture there, um, at least in terms of like the genetic makeup of very similar, close to Greeks and Italians. Um, so, and there's Jew Ashkenazi, number five, and then number eight, Jew Moroccan, at a genetic distance of 10.21. And then you have Jew, Li Jew Libyan at number 10, Jew Tunisian, number 12. So, and by the way, not, not only Jews get these results, but, you know, like if you're like a South Ital Italian or Sicilian, or like a, uh, from Crete or Cyprus or something like that, also Lebanese um, or, uh, you know, Levantine, Le other Levantine Arabs, you're going to get some of these results too. So you're going to get some Jewish results too. That it doesn't mean that you have Jewish ancestry. It just means that your genetic makeup is similar to your, at least your autosomal DNA um, in terms of these admixture calculators are very similar to some of these populations. So, um, all right. So, I'm going to take a look at uh, the one last calculator, and this is from uh, your DNA portal, and it's the Ancient Near East K13 Oracle, uh, uh, and Monty calculator by Gear Hujbricks, if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, probably not, uh, but that's the, that's that's who came up with this calculator, this N Monty three calculator, uh, Ancient Near East, and the calculator model is by Dilawar Khan at EurasiaDNA.com, and uh, my closest population distances. Uh, again, this is another result where I get Sicilian above um, Geo Ashkenazi, but uh, look how close that is. So we got we have Sicilian, then Geo Ashkenazi, then Greek, then Italian South, and then there there's Jew Moroccan. So right there, very close to Jew Moroccan, and the population percentages. Uh, look at that 28.6 percent Sicilian, 5.8 uh, percent Geo Ashkenazi and 5% um, Jew Moroccan. So, <laughs> wow, okay, really close to each other. So anyway, Ashkenazi Jews are very close to, genetically very close, very similar to Moroccan Jews. Um, obviously we're also very similar to Sicilians as well. And we're obviously very similar to Sephardic Jews and other Western diaspora Jews and other Southern Europeans, and then also Levantine Middle Eastern people. So, yeah, so um, again, 
Ashkenazi Jews, Moroccan Jews, very, very similar people. We are the same people, basically. We come from the same people. We are the Jews, the Western diaspora Jews from Israel and the Mediterranean diaspora. Thank you for watching.